What's good YouTube? In this video, you are in for a real treat. I've got a great little tip that I think is going to take your bunch defense to a whole new level. Now, if you are new to the channel, I just want to ask you to hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at the game, again, hit the sub button. It's free to, to do that. And then I'm going to be talking today about a coverage defense or a concept out of the nickel normal package. If you have not picked up my nickel normal defensive guide, it's available by joining my Patreon. My Patreon membership um, does not only feature the nickel normal, but by becoming a member, you'll get access to all 21 of my offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, you'll also be able to get all of our weekly updates uh, videos where we basically kind of keep you up to date with the latest meta shifts, the latest changes in the game, um, and so kind of give you the, the, the best possible tips um, in addition to our full scheme ebooks and stuff like that. So again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon membership, there's a link in the description below and you can sign up today for just $10 a month to get you unlimited access to all of that stuff. But I'm really, really excited today because we're talking about uh, we're, we're talking about a concept that happens when someone goes from the bunch offset to the bunch halfback strong. And it's basically a glitch in the game. Um, it's one of the things that is really unfortunate, in my opinion, about Madden. Um, very similar to the way Cover 3 works against trips type sets. But what it comes down to is if I were to come out in the play, um, let's just say I was to come out in the play verticals, but I'm going to use my Hot Rod Master and I'm going to use cover um, to illustrate this. I'm going to use cover four palms. What you'll notice is is I can um, if I'm in this defense right here. If I run this coverage, you'll see that this corner route to the right side is pretty pretty well defended. You see right there, kind of taken away. Now the problem becomes, and this is a, any good strategic Madden player will know this, but if they just simply float the running back. Um, whoops, let me audible to the right play. I apologize. But if they just simply take the running back and move him to the right side of the screen, like so, now all of a sudden the match principles will basically turn off and you'll see that this corner route becomes much, much more of an option. So as a defender, you're like, um, <laughs> uh-oh, <laughs> you know, like what do I do? And it's even worse in the context of something like this for example and again this is a, a little bit of a tough uh, tough show but we're going to deep half that guy we're going to use her this guy right here um and, and just to illustrate that we're just going to put him on a spy but basically they'll audible over to this play out of bunch strong called P P bunch shot and this can be very problematic for your your offense because now the skinny post doesn't get matched over the top and you see that it can burn the defense for a one play touchdown and so in today's video i want to show you kind of how to combat that and also how to combat um a little bit a little bit better the the motion or the um the audible cor uh, corner route what we want to do is we want to go ahead and base align our defense in our coaching adjustments option defense on conservative these are all on default and we're going to be utilizing the cover six. And I think the cover six is the best defense, the best base concept um, in the game this year. It really plays everything as good as it possibly can. But what you're going to see here is from an adjustments perspective, uh, all I'm going to do is I like to press. You don't have to. Um, I like to press. And then we're just going to put the, the – you, you don't have to do this, but I like to put this guy into a deep half. And then from there, you really can do whatever you'd like to. Um, if you want to, you could put this guy in whatever zone you want. If you want to zone out this guy, um, what I've recently been doing is dropping this defender in a hard flat. I've been dropping this defender in a bluff blitz and then using this guy and then taking the linebacker and manning them up on the tight end. You can do all those adjustments if you want to, but what happens is then they go to this you know, Z spot and go, and they motion the running back over here. Now, what you're gonna notice is this is gonna do a lot better of a job of defending this, especially if you pass commit, because that outside quarter has a lot of leverage to be able to get out here and to be able to make a play on that corner route. So you see right there, that's kind of part A of what I wanted to get at was 
just by the very act of base aligning the defense and pressing out of cover six. And I, I would even more so suggest the deep half adjustment. Just that simple act alone makes this corner route, this deep one that gets over the top of zone drops, um, or not over top of zone drops, but over top of the basic zones, much, much harder to hit. And you'll see right here again, that's hard to throw. You see, he's right there, okay? So you've got that. And, and really another little pro tip, um, another little pro tip with this is if you see, if you see that motion, one of my favorite things to do, if they do that, um, again, it, you know, you're not gonna have a ton of time, but you will have time to at least make one adjustment. Um, it's just very simply to take that corner and put him in a curl flat. And the reason why is because I'm not really concerned with the deep corner route. What I'm concerned about would be something like the play. Um, oh man, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, let me just create a uh, bench pivot. Something like this play right here. And you're gonna notice that the shorter corner route to the tight end, this curl flat and quarter zone together can kind of hang with. They can kind of play that a little bit better than the other zones do. So that's kind of part A. Now, part B is dealing with the skinny post. And this is another reason why um, this defense is so good. Now, please hear me loud and clear. Do not put that corner on the right in a curl flat unless they are never motioning that outside receiver to the outside from a standard bunch alignment or if they're in a bunch strong alignment. If they're in, a st if they're in something that looks like this right here, um, like this, Please don't change that guy's zone, okay? If you do, you're gonna give up a touchdown, okay? But if they're in tight like this and they motion this guy over, now you can change his zone to a curl flat, okay? So please follow those rules. Those are just, I've talked about them in other videos, but that's that's just gonna help you, um, you know, kind of handle this, okay? So uh, now what, what I wanna show you is this. Uh, this is PA Bunch Shot and this is something that a lot of times they'll go to and they're going to put a corner route right there. They might put, they might put a, you know, like a crosser in a corner. Um, you're going to want to use her the crosser. Um, maybe if I can get my adjustments here uh, to register. So again, there you go. Okay. So you're going to be something, something like this. There might be a crosser, something over the middle. Now your adjustments, um, you know, might look something like that. It might look something like this with the curl flat, just something simple. Okay, you you still have a soft squat. That soft squat, you definitely want that to be either a cloud flat or a hard flat. Very, very important um, because of the fact that they're probably gonna be running some kind of slant, some kind of something. So a simple solution, if you don't wanna have to manually change zones, shade down, shade up, shade down, shade up. Now you have two clouds. You can drop this defender on the left into a hard flat, or you could drop him into a vertical hook um, just to kind of help the coverage a little bit. Or you can obviously use her, um, use her the slant if you wanted to use her the slant. Okay. The big key with this is this post over the top that would split a cover two. You see right here, it doesn't. The safety still matches that deep post. And that's a huge, huge, huge thing for your defense in terms of defending this because when they make that audible, when they make this audible, they're really running one of maybe two or three plays. And another one that they're gonna look at is probably this wide trail play. And what you'll see is you'll typically see something like a slant to the inside guy, It'll probably block the tight end, and then they'll probably do something like this. This is a very popular um, you know, play out a bunch because that post can get uh, over the top of a lot of the zone drops in the game. So you're gonna get something like this, maybe a little out to the back and a little hitch. Those are your popular things. If you think about this defense, it really does fine. Um, you know, you can leave, I wouldn't leave that guy in a soft squat. I would change him to a hard flat um, just to help a little bit. But you're gonna see that, look at this, what's open on this play? I mean, nothing. And you see that this gets matched perfectly by that safety. So this is my favorite defensive to use whenever somebody goes to the bunch strong because they can't really throw a corner route. Um, they still won't be able to throw a really good corner route even if they have that that deeper, um, even if they have that deeper corner, they're still gonna have a hard, be hard press uh, to throw that. 
And then the other thing that I want to just quickly uh, point out about how this will work is let's say that they, you know, most of the time when they go to bunch strong, they're either going to, you know, have that tight end on a corner or they're going to have this number two on a corner. But let's say they have something that looks like this. Um, and again, typically you're going to get something to the backside like a post. Almost every time at a bunch strong, you're going to get something um, to the backside, you know, in, in, in the realm of a post. But let's say they give you a concept that looks kind of like this and they bring a backside dig or something like this. All you have to do, if you think about it, is use the backside dig. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe the running back will be open for a second, but you're going to rally down and you're going to be able to tackle that. You do have a three rack hook that will typically follow that running back. And you see that that corner route, yeah, it's kind of there, but at the same time, it's kind of not. And if you have a really good zone guy out there, that's going to be played a lot better. Um, of course, you can put the curl flat out there and that'll help a little bit as well. So that is how I like to defend Bunch Outback Strong from Nickel Normal. If you want to get my full Nickel Normal ebook, join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks a month to sign up. And I can't tell you how much um how much i think you're going to really get your money back just for the content that is in there we have over 21 offensive and defensive ebooks we also have weekly updates i just dropped a 40 minute update this week uh breaking down um you know kind of some of the real fine points of blitzing out of nickel normal as well as having great coverage out of nickel normal and being able to do that all within the same look and being able to stop a lot of the popular concepts that the gun bunch and even the gun tight slots use um, for their offense. So thanks for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. And again, if you want to get my full gun or uh, my full uh, nickel normal ebook, there's a link in the description to go join our Patreon membership where you can get my bunch offense and my nickel normal and get all of my ebooks for the price of one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.